Hey everyone, welcome back, Deft here. So we're gonna get right back into this episode. We're currently over here in like the desert type area. We're gonna go ahead and start clearing the city so we can try to get the loom so we can get to some new armor. I want the new armor set, it looks really cool. Yes, I'm all about aesthetics over functionality to a certain extent. So let's go ahead and jump down here, start clearing out this city. We're gonna have to try to figure out a good way to do this because I don't want to spend like half an hour going over the city in each individual building because this one's huge. So we made it to Brittle Bush. One new marker added. Wait, this quest is over here somewhere? I think it's going to be here in the city, or at least the path is, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start on top of this one. I'd really like to break all this stuff down, but I can do that off camera. Just because we need tons and tons of fabric and materials. I guess I'll swap to my wand. It's probably the safer way to get through here. It's a fell at the building right here. We do have a respawn point at the front. We jumped off that cliff face. Goes right out to the road. Ooh, there's tons of lapis lazuli out here too. I'm going to just start calling it lapis, because I don't know if I'm pronouncing the second word properly. Let's see, okay, it looks like we have a bunch of scavengers in here. Let's get our staff out and ready. Oh man, that guy hurts. Oh, he's level 23. He hurts. Hey, we definitely need to get that new armor. Speaking of which, I need to go ahead and pop some food and make sure we survive. So let's go. We've got some chicken wings on us. Should get our hit points up a little bit. Silver chest here, level 23 Gloom Monarch boots. Man, those look nice. If only I was still a melee build. So that's in this building right here. Let's go ahead and go down. There's a basement here too. Oh, I'm dead. Is that bait? Oh, God, that hurts. See, we need to swap to our fire fire spell. Oh, yeah, they don't like fire. See what is down here. Another undead. And a silver chest. Let's go and open that. Maybe we'll get some more gear. I really don't need any more metal star bases. I feel I've never used them. I think that's all we're gonna find inside this little crypt. Let's head out. I need to finish clearing the first two floors of this building too. I hope we got some kind of weird red beetle. I don't know what that thing does. Let's get out of here. Oh, they exp of course it explodes. I really don't want to go back to my melee build just to survive farming all these guys. I think there's a couple of them downstairs too. See, we're gonna have to pop a potion or a bandage something. I can hear them crawling. I wonder if I can dodge that if I'm fast enough. And all it drops is critter parts. On this small house next to this larger house we started with, there's a silver chest. Spellbinder hat, level 23. 25% opportunity damage. I don't know what that means. There, we've got a legendary hammer down here, level 23. Go ahead and take that. It's in a silver chest. Now, most of these houses so far, they have two and three level basements. I guess that makes sense being in the desert. It'd be a cool place to sleep or live. Uh, all the people, unfortunately, live upstairs. But I can show you the house that we're currently in. We had a lock with this door. I guess I came in the other way. So we're on the far corner. We started over there. The road is in the direction I'm currently facing. I'll show you kind of on the map where we're at. It's right here. Still in this first half of the city. It's taking longer than I expected just because the houses are so large. Another silver chest right here with hawk trousers in it. This house is right above the one where we got the other item from. Of course, it's getting a lot dark now, so it's gonna be hard to show you. So that's the house where that the chest was in the basement. This is the other house. Again, we're still in that same little corner right here. All right, everybody. So we crossed the bridge. We finished that first section of the city. Wait, did I finish that house over there? Yeah, that was the uh, one with the ruins underneath it. So we finished that section, and we still have that little temple up there. And then we have that section there and this section right here. So we're gonna get started on this side. Make sure you're careful crossing the bridge. There's shroud all below us. And is that the good shroud? <laughs> it's like the insta-death shroud. I guess we'll start on this left side, then work our way around. I haven't found any lore or anything mentionable yet besides a couple of those silver chests. So we'll keep looking. There's another silver chest right here. And it's really easy to miss these staircases. They're so small. All right, right across on the bridge on this top of this house, we do have another silver chest. Another masterful mace. <laughs> but yeah, there's no point in me recording every one of these houses. Most of them are empty except for the basic loot items. Alright guys, so we finished this half, nothing but a couple of chests in there, nothing major, no lore, at least nothing that I found, so if somebody knows different, let me know. 
I did check the top of this ball and some of the lower part. I'm not jumping on that corner because it's going to take us down the shroud. I don't want to go down there just yet. Pretty sure that's going to be the route to find the weaver though is to go all the way to the bottom. So these two sections cleared below us. Now we need to go up here. There are some outbuildings. I checked those too. Didn't find anything there. Now it's like this. I thought it was like a castle. Maybe it's just the wealthy side of town. There is a red glow over there. Maybe that, that might just be some lore though. Oh, we got a cleaver coming for us. Is there a ledge I can get to? Oh. Ah, oh, multiple guys. Man, just <laughs> having the staff makes range attacking so easy. New location charted the far away Frey Tavern. I'm assuming that's where the red glow is right there. We'll go there in a second. So that's a new quest, Emily Frey's Tavern. I'm pretty sure that what we found across the map, I don't know, like episode five or so, a random tavern sitting in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so underneath this wall, we do have a silver chest. So if you're out here in the main square, the main plaza, of course, I'm being attacked now by something. Must be above me. There's a silver chest in here in this corner. Only reason I'm mentioning all these is because we all need better gear at this point, most likely. So let's go in here and check out the tavern, see what's going on with that. Oh, there's the enemy right there. No problem with the magical staff. And then we've got some more on this bulletin board. Two new locations added. New lore, Honey Misery. Talking about the Beehive Smoker, that one of the items that we're currently after. So the Beehive Smoker is back up towards where we already cleared by the damn excavation camp. Uh, that goes way out there too. And let me show you on the map. It's been a minute since I pulled the map up. So here's the far away, away tavern. I think this is away, away. Or maybe, oh, far away Frey Tavern over here in Fertile Bush. So we'll keep exploring. I'll see if I can find anything else in here. There's a silver chest and another piece of wall inside the tavern. Oh, this has this desert city wall. So another building block. And then Emily Frey's diary, entry number one. So that's the Frey Tavern right below us there. There's a legendary chest here. Let's go and open that. Deep Root Axe, level 23 in it. And there's another one over here on this corner roof. So the one we just opens behind me. We have one more right here. Level 23 composite bow. So in the basement of the house that's right here on this corner, it's right above away. You have to go down three or four levels to the basement. Buried down here is a silver chest. You also need a lockpick to open it. I'm really open it something good. Shield of Light. Level 23. That sounds pretty good. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to make some space for it. Let me get my torch out and I'll show you where this is at in case anybody else is a melee user and needs a good shield. You just keep diving down in the basement of this one house. Come outside. So there, I think that's a sun temple there. But if you look down, that's the main plaza right below us and the faraway tavern. Like I said, just go into here and you'll find that shield. Let's go ahead and equip it. I think it's better than our current shield. So we're going to character. Click on whatever you want to swap out and you can compare them. So ours is level 18, 14 block. This one's got three more blocks. So let's see, 90 parry power. It's got a better parry power too. Let's go ahead and equip it. And then there's our new shield of light. Looks like a lot like our old shield. And then I'm going to get back to finishing this place up. I think I'm in the last part finally. So we're right above the Frey Tavern. There is a, another respawn point up here. I'm not sure why. It's a larger building. All right, I think we've cleared the city out all the way. All we have left is this temple right here. So if you need to see where I'm at again, there's that little bridge we crossed. We started on this part of the city. Our teleport is right over there. And I can show you the map one time. If I zoom out, it should help a little bit. Right above the Frey and Tavern. Let's go in here. I already see something red gleaming. The walls are alive, the shroud elixir and elixir well. All right, looks like there might be ghosts here, so maybe it's the new enemy that we need to find to upgrade the flame again. Go ahead and make sure we touch this respawn point so we can spawn here if we die. Being a mage, like we are, <laughs> we are very subject to death. Then from the respawn point going around right, there's a ton of bodies and it looks like we can keep going into this temple area. See, there's another scavenger across the way. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff downstairs. Wait, is that... He's in armor, I think. Oh, these guys can take some damage.
Looks like we're still being shot at by something. I don't know if he's downstairs or upstairs. Oh, don't zoom up here. He must be downstairs. I'm assuming this is a flame altar. I don't have any room to pick it up. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's go downstairs. I did blow through that wall that just connects back to the front room, like the other temple that we were in. So we need to clear out some of these shroud sacks so we can see better. I think we've eliminated most of the enemies right here on the first floor. I'll just loot on my way back out. There's no point in looting right now. It'll take too long. I don't see anything else in here. Let's go ahead and pick this door. And we're almost to the item I think that we we're looking for. At least our quest marker is right ahead. I think we're going to have to fight a new boss type mob like the fell brute. But I think this one's going to be a little bit worse. And I don't see anything in this part of the room. And then we go ahead and activate all my food buffs. So we have chicken wings. I call them chicken wings. We have chicken wing, mushrooms, and our berries active now. So it's the best chance we have to live. Let's go ahead and get our staff back out. We're 51 meters from the target. I don't know why that just did that. Okay, maybe I buffed a little too soon. <laughs> so we can go straight. I'm assuming we need to go straight because what we are looking for was below us. Go ahead and open all this stuff up. Maybe bombs are the way to fight whatever we're about to fight. Because we keep getting a ton of them. I did use a lot of them just a second ago though. Haunted Sun Temple. New location charted. Oh yeah, we're definitely where we need to be. Took down those two enemies, no problem. Sounds like something else is after us somewhere. But there he is. Okay, so I'm gonna keep hugging the right wall since we came up on the right side. We still have the downstairs. Oh, yeah, there's a switch up here, so I guess I made the right decision. Location still below us. I bet it's behind a locked door. See what is this? I can't. It's so dark in here. We'll keep circling around, trying to make sure we don't miss anything. It's like all my enemies have upgraded to using iron arrows. That's a good time. Did we just need the one switch? Is that all? Is that all you required from us? Let's see what's over here. See, like stuff like this scares me because that stairs going down, and every time I've dug into it, I've not found anything. Okay, we have another switch right here on the left side. Go ahead and push that button. See a chest and some shroud in front of us. Let's go ahead and investigate this. Explosive powder ball net times two. We have been getting some new bombs. I don't do I have them on me still yet. Yeah, we've been getting some of these explosive powder grenades. Uh, these things are massive. It says they do 24 damage. The smaller ones we started with are 15, and then the net ones are 19. So these must like just <laughs> destroy stuff. I don't see any other reason. I'm not gonna try to get across that shroud. I don't see any point in that. I already forgot we're on shroud time as well, so we need to make sure we don't start a big fight before we get our shroud time reset. Let's see a silver chest right on the right, a bunch of beetles. Let's get our wand back out. Just block with your shield if you need to. Okay, we don't need any critter parts. It's the last thing I need. Nothing up there. Nothing in this tomb. We can grab this chest. Ring of stamina. Plus five stamina and five stamina regeneration. This is the best ring I've ever seen for stamina. Something you definitely want if you're mining. What can I? I don't want to get rid of my chicken wings. We'll get rid of the torn cloth because I have tons of that. Yeah, that that ring of stamina right there—that's amazing. 
Okay, so it says the point is reached. I'm gonna go reset the time and then we'll come back and pick back up at this door. So we reset the timer, we're back down here by the door. Let's go ahead and ease in here and we get my main weapon back out. Let's see what's good. This is a really large looking chamber. We have a bunch of grapple points. I see a ghost looking thing floating over there. And remember that whatever mobs we find in here are gonna be at least level 23. Up here it comes, fell sickle slide. See how does it like ice? Resist it. Resist it. Oh no, skull. I don't know. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Beetles. Even worse. Let's see. Get my shield back out. Pop a bandage while we're running. Oh, nope. More beetles. And I just killed myself. That's not good. We gotta get out of the shroud now. No. I gotta figure out why like, we just nose bomb like that. So we don't do that all the time. Oh. Okay, so fire is ineffective against it as well. Now I gotta go reset the timer. We'll try this again. I gotta rethink the strategy. So Ice Bolt's the only thing that we have on us right now that works. I wonder if Acid would do better. Alright, let's kick this guy off one more time. I really hope I don't have to go respect back to melee to fight this guy. Wait, it, his hit point might have stayed the same. Wait, can I hit him right here by the door? Is that, that would be awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I hate cheesing it like this. We'll come back and fight him real another time. But uh, this is working quite nice with the mage. Okay, he's like two or three shots. Where did he go? I don't think he can throw that stupid skeleton at us. Yeah, we're still damaging him pretty good. Unless that's the wall taking critical damage. Recharge our mana. Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> oh, man. I used my dodge up. Oh, dude. Come on. Come on. I bet he respawned. Or I bet his hit points go back up this time. So thank you for getting overconfident. So he has a special sickle boot. The real problem is not the sickles. It's the skull that he throws at you. Oh, we lose all of our food buffs too when we die. Oh, he's still chilling right there too. And I bet he's at full hit points. Oh, he's, he's straight up coming for us. I don't have my food buffs on. Let's see, I'm gonna grab my chicken wing, activate the berries, activate the mushrooms. I'm pretty sure I can kill him. It's just gonna take me a second to figure out that skull. What we're gonna do about it. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. He doesn't heal back up. That's nice. Let's go ahead and grab this body. So here's the trophy. We need to upgrade the flame again. It's a level 23 silver storm weapon. It's good shock damage on that. Oh man, I just picked up all that loot. <laughs> oh, we still gotta get our body back too. Where did I die at this time? Oh, back here. Well, that's actually an easy fight if he doesn't respawn. Or, like, I don't know why I keep saying respawn. I mean regen. If he doesn't regenerate, it's actually a really easy fight. Can I just, like, delete this or abandon it or something? I don't want it staying on my map, so I want it gone. Guess I'll have to delete one item at a time. Okay, well, with him out the picture, let's go take a look and see what else we have down here. Go ahead and swap back to our wand. We don't want to get obliterated by all these beetles. Like a gold sarcophagus below us. We'll go check that out in a second. Oh, man. Watch out for the holes in the floor, because they will... <laughs> they'll kill you like I almost died the first time. Let me see. Nowhere to go up above us. Yeah, it looks like you're supposed to just kite in a circle around here and fight him. Or her, whatever it is. Oh, come on guys, chill, chill out. I'm just a little mage. I need better armor. Can't swing across this gap, I just don't think... Yeah, that's where we died. There's no point in going there. We've already been over there once. Let's jump down here to the main arena floor. I wish the wands had just, just the hair more range on them. So let's see what we have in this legendary looking chest. Gloom Monarch Boots. I feel like we already have a pair of those. We do. They couldn't give me like an armor, <laughs> a breastplate, I don't know, legs, something different. The good thing is there are three or four legendary chests right here in this area. So it definitely wouldn't be a bad place to come and pop them constantly. Oh, come on. No, 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 don't kill me. 
Squishy, man. Squishy. The mage is so squishy. I don't know if it's a good way to solo. It's not impossible, that's for sure. I'm just used to being able to literally walk straight through anything and everything. Well, looks like we've cleared this sun temple out. Time to head out. Shroud damage is getting, our timer is getting kind of low. I don't see anything else in here for us to loot. I don't see any ledges to go to. It's just that one crate. We'll have to come back and kill this guy again to get the trophy. So maybe then we'll come back as a melee fighter and try to just straight up fight him. Well, now that we've cleared the haunted sun temple, I think we're good on this side right here inside this little city. I'm actually going to try to ease down here and see if we can't grab this southern caravan really quick. And then we'll probably call the episode there. Should just be down this road, I believe, out of the back of the city. I don't know what's with the caravans and just living outside the cities. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's buildings and taverns and hotels. Let's uh, let's camp outside. Maybe they're trying to stay low. I don't know. So we just got a new location charted. I'm assuming it's just the caravan waypoint. And then we'll take a look around, see what kind of stuff we can find in here. Books we can break down. Oh. <laughs> My dude just went a little crazy. I still haven't found a piece of iron yet, but here's some more right here behind the tents. Let's go ahead and read that. Grilled Spiced Yucca. New lore, nobles, and history recipe for love. That's just a recipe for the queen and the meal she really enjoyed. But I guess we need to get to looking around and find us some yucca. We have some more lore in this back tent here next to this chest. Emily Frey's Diary Entry Number 3. See, we are out of space, so I can't carry all this stuff with us. It's also why I'm not breaking anything down right now. Just, I don't have anywhere to carry it. We have another basic chest inside of here. Lightning channel, 20 damage. I thought the other ones we found were a lot higher, like doing more damage than 20. So that says we're getting, like, we can get yucca. I wonder if yucca comes off of these things. Is that the fruit that comes off of a cactus? Maybe we have to harvest it a different way? Because this should probably all be fiber. I doubt this is yucca. And that's just a desert flower. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll see something new, and I'll know that's what I'm looking for. I think we're going to walk down the road this way really quick. I just want to make sure that we're clear and that I can see all the paths going in and out of here. Oh, there's definitely an elixir well down this road right here. You can see the giant gate below us. What is this, a checkpoint? It looks like a scavenger checkpoint. There's a silver chest in this checkpoint. Level 21 weapon. I'm gonna say it's not worth it. Since we know where to get level 23 stuff now. Ooh, black powder material. I don't think we ever touched that before, so let's drop something and grab that. Here are these nails, because I'm picking up so much metal. Black powder. Explosive barrel at alchemist. I guess we can build those around our base for some reason now. Ooh, exploding arrow at the hunter, I bet that's fun. And then this path brings us straight back out to our Nomad Highlands Spire. That's why I wanted to take this route. See, these are some different looking trees. I don't know if these, maybe these are yucca. While we're here, we're going to have to cut one of these down. See something green, and I see resin. What is this green thing? Can't carry it. That's got to be yucca, right? See, we'll get rid of this fiber. Yep, yucca fruit. Fruit bowl plus one more at former. Yucca looks like it's pretty easy to get. There's a nice little grove right here. We just glide straight to it from the tower. Should be able to make it out to all these trees in just one go. It looks like there's a cave up there too. So we unlocked some new recipes. We got a lot of stuff done. Inventory is maxed out. We have this new ring that's going to be awesome when I swap back to a melee fighter so I can wear this awesome looking brand new armor. But now we're going to stay on mage for a little bit longer. We're going to keep playing mage. People said they wanted to see mage. So that's what we're trying to get done. I just have to learn to dodge instead of sitting there. Man, I bet we could. I bet our fireball spell tears this guy to pieces though. Let's see, fireball. Because they do not like fire. Anything with fur hates fire. Ooh, 933 damage on that guy. What about you, chicken? Yep, 810 on the chicken. So guys, we're going to call the episode there. I'm going to drop all this stuff off, empty my inventory, free it back up. Uh, what is that, butterflies or bats? Hold on a second, we need to check this out. Wait a minute, there's a whole little city right here that we haven't been to yet. The little bat cave and they're guarding... Well, it looks like a copper mine, which I don't need. I, mean, I've got, I've, I find so much copper, like... Copper is easier to get than water. Oh, I did not mean to piss you guys off. I bet you guys can one-shot me. I'm about to find out. Two-shot. <laughs> what? Oh, they can hit you while you're jumping, too, so we need to be careful. I need to get to find a high point. Okay, we're going to call the episode... I did, but I, Oh, that, now there's a tent up there, too? Okay, we're going to look at that tent and these buildings. If I find something good, I'll put it in the video. If not, we're going to... Oh, this is Fanning Ranch. New location charted. Man. Game, you got to chill. Like, we can't just keep finding brand new stuff every time we step outside. All right, let me see if I can find some lore or something in here. 
this episode's running long, guys. Again, I apologize. I'm really sorry. All right, maybe I'm missing the point in this farm. I did find one secret door, but it just had a basic chest in it. And it's inside this front. Or the, I say front, but it's inside this barn right here. Secret door right here. But again, just a basic chest. Nothing amazing. I guess it's just so we can come out here and grab all this sugar. I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this is all sugar cane. Yeah, so I guess this is just a sugar cane farm. I don't see any other reason we'd need to be here. So let's run back up here. I'm going to check out these tents and then we'll call this place clear. If you are looking for sugar cane though, the, like again, the farm is right here below the tower. So Nomad Highlands Tower, the farm's right here. And then we have some tents on top of a cliff right here I want to look at. Well, I say some tents, it's a tent. There's also a whole city structure over here. See the basic chest inside of the tent with light burst. Not worried about that. Bet if you need to rest. I was like done with the side of the map. I guess I did not clear this one or three buildings. We should be mighty close though. And this is a little scavenger camp. All right, so at this location that we were going over a second ago next to the tower, right above the obelisk, there is a legendary chest on top. I don't know how good it's going to be. <laughs> All that work just for a hunter's bow. Yeah, I wouldn't. A level 18 one at that. Yeah, it's totally not worth it because it takes a lot of work to get to the top of this tower. And we made it f home finally. We do have a lot of quests that looks like that need to be updated. So we're going to talk to them. Maybe they'll give us some new locations of where to head next. The greatest game. She wants us to go snuff out an enemy camp. Huh? He wants us to go steal some well blocks from the elixir wells and the candle wastes. A pleasure to see you. And he's telling us there's a legendary glider, so I guess we don't have the best glider in the game yet. But with those quests done, we're going to call it there, and we'll pick back up on the next one. I don't know where we're going to go next. There seems to be plenty of options. Wow, this is the greatest game is way down here. I mean, were we supposed to have already been over here at some point? Because we did have the iron hearts of iron a long time ago. Maybe I need to come over here and cross this bridge. I don't know what that's close to. Yeah, that's like probably the lower level area there. So maybe we should have cleared some of that, get iron first. Maybe I'm doing everything backwards. Looks your well, well blocks, it's all over there, hadn't been there yet. Braze taverns across the bridge again. I just want the loom. Like, <laughs> I'm asking for too much to get the loom. So I don't know, we, we might actually try a new route on the next one, teleport here to home level one, and then see if we can't run across here and start knocking out some of these earlier quests. So as always guys, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.